hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome so i took down my braid as you can see i am going to show you guys how i treat my hair after taking down my braid in my previous video i did say that i keep my braids in for four to six weeks this one i kept i kept it in for four weeks and i want to take it out when i take off my braid i usually spread it with water and then i pre-poo and do all of that but today i'm not going to use the water because i just saw this, this detangling spray at the dollar tree and i wanted to try it when you take down your braid your hair is very tangled and i just want to detangle my hair before i go in with a pre-poo i do have i believe i have a review of this pre-poo on my channel is a Mayo Mogango oil pre shampoo treatment. The reason why I'm also using the detangler is because I have just a little bit of the pre poo left. So, detangling my hair before going in with the pre poo will help a lot. So, that means I won't be using a lot of pre poo at each section. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And this is from the last T line it's, it's a line that is at a dollar tree i do like the edge control from this line it's the last t olive oil detangling spray so i took down my hair like um i believe two days or three days ago and i've been slacking on washing it <laughs> if you're natural you know how scary wash day is so yeah and usually too when i take down my hair i like to wash my hair in steps or uh, after some days because when you do a lot of things to your head at the same time it makes it hurt so i like to just take my time and just spread it over days so i'm going to do bigger sections first and then i'll do smaller sections <laughs> nozzle is not working for me so i'm going to pull whatever that is in here into this one so i can have this spray nozzle this is annoying me Okay, so the detangler really did a good job. I really like it. It kind of just detangled my hair. It's just a dollar. If you find it, you should get it. But aside the fact that I hit the nozzle, I like the actual thing. So I'm going to go ahead and pre-pull my hair now and just do it. I'll put like the three twists together and then pre-pull that section and then pre-pull this section. <laughs> Now that I managed to get some of the knot out, I'm going to go ahead and detangle using a comb. So you can see that I use my hand through all this whole process. It's very helpful. It helps you to not just rip out your hair and also like it helps you to really feel the tangle and then take them out. So this is what I've gotten out so far. It might look a lot to you, but bear in mind, I had my braids in for like a month and i didn't really like take proper proper care of my braids so yeah my hair was dry in the process so i'm gonna go ahead and comb it so i can get the rest of the tangles out and so when i'm in the shower it will be less stressful for me see because i detangle and did pre-pull it's easy for me to just comb things out After everything, this is how much hair that came out. I think this is a lot. <laughs> I think this is a lot, but also I didn't really take care of my hair. So this is the result. I'm not complaining, but I could do better next time. So this is how much hair I have. So I don't have any shower cap in the house. So I'm just going to use a regular good old plastic bag. I'll go ahead and microwave my heat cap and then put it on go condition actually go shampoo 
and condition and i'll be right back to deep condition so i'll see you guys when i'm done with all of this i am back from the shower and i'm going to deep condition i've already deep conditioned half of my hair and i'm going to deep condition the other one <laughs> I'm going to go back and sit under the microwave heated cup and then I'm going to moisturize my hair but I'll probably not show that on camera but I do use the um, LCO method to moisturize I do have a video on how to moisturize your hair I'll link that in the description but yeah that's all I do when um, when I take my brace off the key is because your hair is very tangled, you need to be patient when you're doing that. That's why I use a detangler and usually I'll watch a movie while doing this. So the movie will kind of slow me down. If I'm into the movie, then I'll not be like wanting to finish my hair so quick because it's stressing me out. So that's the key. I find something that I'm interested in to do and then I do my hair at the same so time. It's always good to detangle your hair outside the shower so you uh, the shower process will be so quick. Yeah, that's everything I do. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be moisturizing my hair and then I'll probably style it. If you want to see the style video, be sure to check my next couple of videos or my, my future videos because I will be posting it very soon. I have a gel that I want to try on a wash and go. Wash and goes are the most styles that I do. I have a gel that I want to try and I'll be trying that on this hair after I wash everything off. So stay tuned, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime I post something new. And thumbs up this video, it really helps me a lot. It tells YouTube that you like the video and then YouTube will keep pushing my video so we can get to the 10,000 subscribers. And also any video recommendation, like I always said, will be appreciated. It can be beauty, hair, and lifestyle just leave them in the comments below and i will really really appreciate that so until next time stay blessed and beautiful Bye -bye.